What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Dawn of War 3 guide video. Today we're gonna talk about the Space Marine units. Just the basic units. I don't talk about the doctrines and I don't talk about the elites. I will talk about this stuff in a different video. And like I said, today I only talk about the Dawn of War 3 Space Marine basic units. So we're gonna start over here with the Assault Marine squads. These are the Assault Marines from the Space Marines. These are basically melee units. They have like different abilities. For example, they have an ability you can use the jetpack and jump straight into your uh, opponent's uh, units. The other ability is like a strafe jump to like escape um, if your uh, Assault Marines getting like really low on health. You can like um, use the abilities to like be aggressive, for example, jump over a cliff to harass like uh, resource points, or you can use the jump, like the jetpack abilities, to like jump away when your space marines, uh, when your assault marines are getting really low on health. The next unit is the Devastator Marine, the Heavy Bolter. Heavy Bolter is like a heavy infantry unit. This unit has like really, really long range and is really good against infantry. Like this unit basically sucks against uh, basically every tank unit in the game. But like I said, this unit is really, really strong against infantry and has really, really long range. So if your opponent is like only building like, for example, Marines, like Space Marines, or like, um, for example, basically, if your opponent is only building like infantry units, it doesn't matter which infantry unit it is, Heavy Bolter is a good way to go because this unit is really, really strong against every infantry unit in the game. If your opponent is going like, for example, like a tanky unit, unit like a Dreadnought or like a Predator tank, don't build Heavy Bolters because they basically make zero damage against tanks. To counter tanks, we have the next unit over there. It's the Devastator Marine Last Cannons. The Last Cannons is basically the same unit uh, like the Heavy Bolter, but the Last Cannons are really good against tanky units. Like if your opponent is building like a Dreadnought or a Predator tank or every basically every tank a tanky unit build the last cannons because they crush tanks even if you build like if you um let me say it like this if you have enough last cannons they even kill like uh, infantry units but keep in mind to counter infantry units you need the heavy bolter to counter tanky units like for example a dreadnought or like a predator tank you build last cannons. The next unit we have over here is the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought is an, basically a heavy walker. You basically see it um, from the picture over here. Um, you should always build the Dreadnought, um, uh, you should always build them in a drop pod because like um, it's like a melee unit, like this unit has no, basically, this unit has no range attack. Um, why should you use like the Dreadnought? For example, if your opponent is like going heavy on rangers or snipers, um, the problem with that is like, he can like hit and run. Like the problem with like ranger or sniper spam, your units will not catch the rangers or the snipers because they shoot and they run away. So it's always a good decision to build like a Dreadnought in the drop pod. So you can basically drop down the Dreadnought directly into your opponent's army. And with uh, an ability the Dreadnought um, can do, like he will do basically like, um, it's called like splash damage. So if your opponent is like going heavy on like tactical Marines, heavy on Rangers or Snipers, just drop a Dreadnought straight into his army and basically one Dreadnought can kill like easily like 10 Ranger squads or 10 Sniper squads with uh, basically no problems. Um, this unit is really weak against um, last cannons 
because like if you if your opponent is hitting like the last cannons um, decently, like don't clump them. Um, the dreadnought will not do anything because it's a really slow unit. Um, and keep in mind, that's like my personal. I prefer only build the dreadnought in the drop pod because if you build them straight out of your um, production facility. Uh, it's not that good because the walker is really slow and yeah, it's just not that good. Just use the drop pod and drop them directly on your opponent's army. The next unit is the land speeder. Personally, like my personal opinion is the land speeder is basically a unit to harass. Like it's really weak in an offensive fight. Like, basically, like, one less, for example, one less cannon squad can easily kill, like, two uh, land speeders. So, um, if you're gonna, if you wanna build, like, land speeders, only build them, like, to harass and scout the map. For example, um, you can use the land speeder to harass, like, your opponent's uh, resource points or, like, to protect your own. Uh, resource points like it's basically a good unit because it's really fast and you can like cover the map really really quickly with like two or three land speeders you can scout and like control the map really easily and if the unit gets like attacked you can easily run away because this unit is really really fast but in an offensive fight this unit sucks basically the next unit over here is the predator this tractor. The Predator tractor is a tank and it's really good against uh, infantry. Um, why should you build like the Predator Destructor? Like I said, this unit is really good against infantry. For example, if you have like lots of last cannons, which are really good against tanks, you should build like Predator Destructors. So you have like a counter with the last cannons against like tank units. And with the Predator Destructor, you have a counter to like infantry. So it's always really bad to build like, for example, the Destructor and Heavy Bolter. So you have like two units that only counter infantry. That's the point. Um, I think I go straight to the Predator Annihilator. This is a tank unit that is really good against tanks. Same with the Predator Destructor. You should mix your army composition. Like if you have, if you want to build Predator Annihilators, you should build like support units like Heavy Bolters. So you have to mix them up. It's bad to build like Predator Annihilators and less cannons because then you only have like units that counter tanks. So if you're going to build Predator Annihilators, always support them with heavy bolters. If you want to build Predator Destructors, you need to support them with less cannons. Pretty easily. Like, heavy bolter and less cannons is like the infantry unit. Predator Destructor and Annihilator is like the tank unit. Next unit we have over here is an infantry unit. It's uh, a scout squad. This unit is basically um, cloaked. So your opponent cannot see this unit, they need detection. And this unit has also like a, a stun grenade. This unit is really cheap and does basically not really like this unit does not any damage. But it's really good like to scout your like to scout your opponent's army um, position on the map. But keep in mind um, with like detection like the scout squad like is not detected anymore. And if like you attack with your scout squads, like you also lose the detection. I said the scout squad has an ability like a stun grenade. For example, it's really good. Uh, for example, you get like attacked with like an assault marine squad. So, and he he's getting really low on health and the assault marine squad from your opponent tries to jump away. Just use the grenade from the scout squads straight onto the assault marine squads, and that says the assault marine squads cannot jump 
for a couple seconds. So you you basically buy enough time to kill the assault marine squads before they jump away. It's a really good unit. It's really cheap, but it's only a support unit. You cannot like build like five squads of them. That doesn't work because they die so quickly. The next unit is the scout sniper squad. This unit is this unit is basically really strong. It's like an infantry unit that has like really really long range. In my opinion, um, this unit is really really strong. It's one of the strongest early game units for the Space Marines. Because, let me tell you an example. Imagine you have like three scout sniper squads and your opponent has like four tactical squads. You can basically shoot at the tactical squads, run away, shoot again, run away, shoot again. That, that is, this is called like basically hit and run. And your opponent, like the four tactical squads, can never reach your sniper squads. Because if they try to run, like to attack the sniper squads, it doesn't work. Because you have way more range and you can like kite or you can basically hit and run. So this unit is like really strong to um, defend a position on the map. You can also attack with this with these units and if your opponent tries to like attack your scout sniper squads you can just basically run away there's even like ability that you can cloak like the sniper squads so you can shoot and if your opponent's gonna try to attack you you can just cloak your units and run away into your main base this unit is really strong it's you need a little bit of skill to use this unit because if you're gonna overextend and like basically um, get um, out of position with all the sniper squads that die really quickly so you have to be careful what you're doing with this unit always it's better to stay back and fight from behind um, like basically don't use this unit offensively stay back and chill out and pick up your uh, single opponent squads with the snipers with your snipers. It's a really good unit. Yeah, there we have the Saboteur. It's like the the basic unit from the from the Space Marines. Um, this unit is building like buildings or like <laughs> you can scout. This is a really cheap unit. Like it's building the buildings from the Space Marines. You can scout the map, capture points and an important um, point of this unit is this unit has an ability that gets detection like if you see or if you if you basically think that there's like a cloaked unit on the field you can use the ability from the server there to get like detection and detect like cloaked units let me um, tell you an example for example you have three space uh, tactical marines your opponent has three tactical marines and they're fighting straight against each other. Take like three servitors with your army and with every servitor you attack a different group of your opponent's space marines. So all your opponent's space marines will get into melee because the servitor is like a melee unit. And if you attack a, melee un uh, a ranged unit with a melee unit, the ranged unit gets into melee. What does that mean? That means like all the three tactical squads from your opponent fight basically against the servitors. And in the meantime, your tactical marines shooting against the of your opponent's tactical marines. So you get the difference. You know who's going to win the fight. Basically, our space marines, uh, our tactical marines was basically, we, we're not going to lose any squad. What your opponent is, uh, can do is like, or basically should do, like run away because he cannot fight because the Savadas will put his range unit into melee. Yeah, that's basically the Savadas. Like it's really cheap. You can build a couple of them in one game to, yeah, get like map control, capture points and uh, scout the map. Yeah, we have the basic 
Space Marine Unit, the Tactical Marines. This unit is like what we call uh, an infantry, like it's a Marine. It's like a really basic unit, like it has a machine gun, it can shoot, it can run, and with a um, couple of doctrines, you they can even like throw grenades, they can shoot while they are moving, and they move really fast. This is, there's nothing to say to this unit, like it's basically a Marine, it's a basic unit. It's like the Marine in StarCraft 2, it's like, it's like a soldier, it's a really basic unit. It's like an all-round unit, I would say. Yeah, there's nothing more to, I think, to say to this unit. Like, you can you can spam this unit, you can blob this unit because it's an all-round unit. Like, it's really it's really strong in early game. You can even uh, later on upgrade the, the the tactical squads with like plasma guns or like with with like a flamethrower. This unit is like an all-round unit. The last unit is the whirlwind. The Whirlwind is probably one of my favorite um, units in Dawn of War 3 for the Space Marines. It's basically a heavy, long, distant ranged artillery. This unit basically shoots like over two and a half screens. It's really, really strong. It's expensive, but it's also really, really weak. So you only one uh, use this unit like really defensive important is n if you have like five whirlwinds never clump all the whirlwinds at one point because if your opponent for example is dropping down a dreadnought straight straight into like onto your whirlwinds all the first whirlwinds gonna die this unit has no melee or like standard attack it's only a support unit that has like a huge range. For example, um, for the guys that played StarCraft 2, the Terrans in StarCraft 2 have a siege tank. This is basically an upgraded siege tank. It has more range, more DPS, and not more DPS, like more um, splash damage, and it has such a huge range. It's like a support unit and it wrecks infantry. Like, it wrecks basically every infantry in the game. It's really, really strong. You should always use this behind your army to support. And after you, you, sh you have um, used this ability, like to shoot, just move this unit back to your base because it has really, really um, long cooldown. These are all the units from the Space Marines. If you guys have any questions or Probably I missed some, I missed some uh, abilities from the units. Uh, let me know in the comments. I try to answer all the questions. But keep in mind, this is just a basic guide. So basically, now you guys know what every unit is supposed to do and all the weaknesses. Thank you all guys for watching, and see you guys next time.